The Saints went on the road last weekend and pulled off one of the best upsets in program history, knocking off number six and league-leading Augusta. Now they return home to face the worst team in the PBC, Clayton State. But nothing is a given in league play. Saints basketball starts now. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us here on the PBC Network, along with our producer, Laurel Plexico, and our camera person, Michaela Rome. I'm Dave Wenda, joined by women's assistant, Joe Harding, and coach it's got to be a good feeling you go on the road you beat the undefeated in league play Augusta Jaguars and now you're home and looks like everything's in place to win a second consecutive game although again you know any league team on any given night can jump up and bite you Dave no question about that the word let down mean anything (laughs) obviously you have to feel good about the victory at Augusta and even better, Augusta made a couple of runs at them in the second half. And Flagler stood tall, made a couple of threes when they needed them after Augusta put together small runs. And in the end, they shot 46% from the three-point line. You're not going to lose a game when you're shooting like that. They shoot about 40% on the season, so obviously a good performance on Saturday. Let's look at the starting lineups first for the Clayton State Lakers. At a guard, a 6'2 sophomore, number zero, Xavier Joyner. Also a guard, a 6'2 freshman, number five, Bryce Weinmunson. At guard, a 6'6 redshirt freshman, number 11, Travis Harper II. At guard, a 6'6 redshirt freshman, number 25, Bakke Lecky. And at guard, a 6'6 senior, number 44, Ricardo Sams Jr. And now for the starters for the Saints. At a guard, a 6'1 sophomore, number zero, Jax Balknight. At guard, a 6'5 sophomore, number two, Chase Fiddler. At guard, a 5'11 sophomore, number four, Jalen Lemons. At forward, a 6'9 sophomore, Kyle Young. And at guard, a 6'3 junior, number four, Malik Bryant. Saints are coached by Blake Sellen in his first season. The associate head coach is Kip Owens, and the assistant coach is Sam Orff. Clayton State is led by Vince Alexander. His assistants are Andre Anthony and Rashad Lewis. Clayton State wins the opening tip. Flagler in the home whites. Lakers in the dark uniforms. First shot is short and rebound off to Kyle Young. Saints want to run. Fiddler had a huge game in that win on the road at Augusta. This is Balk Knight. Alley oop toss to Kyle Young. Great start for the Saints. Really good look inside, and Kyle caught it in mo- in motion and smoothly finished that layup off. Great way to begin the game. Clayton State works it around the perimeter. And stolen away by the Saints. Fiddler makes the extra pass. Long three on the way, and it's good. Jalen Lemons. Well, we just spoke about the three days. Let's hope we could see another night like they had up at Augusta. Uh, That would be certainly welcome for this home crowd that's still filing in. Good crowd, good noisy crowd. And a second chance now for Clayton State. And a foul committed by Fiddler on the drive by Travis Harper. So Harper will step to the line. First foul on Chase Fiddler. And they're going to actually call it on Young, who was in the area, not Fiddler. So the first personal will be assessed to Kyle Young. Yeah, that's one thing you don't want to do against an 0-7 team is get yourself in foul trouble and limit playing time for key people. We don't want to give them any expectations that we're going to help them out. Clayton State, 2-15 and 15 on the season. They're winless, 0-7 oh in the Peach Belt Conference. Flagler, 9-10 and 10 overall, 3-5 and five in the PBC. Six of the ten losses have come against ranked teams. So Flagler has played a very tough schedule, and now they look fairly battle-hardened as that one goes off the foot of Young, and it's a turnover for the Saints. 
Now Clayton has a, a short bench tonight. They only have eight players dressed, so that could be in Flagler's favor as well in terms of wearing them down over the course of 40 minutes. And there's a different story in the women's game where Clayton State played 13 players, <laughs> and what was it, 11 you said played double-figure minutes? Correct. There's a 17-foot jumper from Lucky. Fiddler at the other end, looking for an answer. His three is off target. Women lost 68-54, by the way. Well, the, the women put together a, a, a really good effort. No, no question about that. We were just outmanned tonight. Another three from Lemons from long range. Yeah, it looked like from my perspective in the women's game, their defensive full court pressure created some problems for you. They made you work so hard just to get into your offensive sets. And they didn't shoot particularly well, but that physicality was is interesting to watch. Uh, some interesting no calls, I suppose, is one way to say it. Well, it, it reminded me of the old Georgetown teams. They played 10-11 in a game. You go out and you you commit 45 fouls and only 25 are called. And that that's it happens. Uh, I don't know what happened to this crew tonight. I'm not putting it all on refereeing, but uh, it wasn't a pretty game. Malik Bryant missed for the Saints. Clayton State quickly into the offensive end. He'll go right at Collier and the rebound by Lemons, and he's fouled. Foul committed by Lecky. And that's one thing that you have to do against Clayton State because they, they field five guys 6'6 six, six or better. And Tyler Collier cut across the lane quickly and just walled up on that drive and created the turnover. Collier has it. At the top of the key, hands it off to Bryant. Now Lemons looking for Collier, poked away into the hands of Lemons. He'll fire another three. And that was halfway down, but came back out on him. Nearly a travel, and now a tough shot in the lane from Psalms, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. The foul is, I believe, on Chase Fiddler. That will be his first personal second team foul for the Saints. And this is where you have to be careful with a team like this because they're extremely aggressive to the basket. And if you rise up on the shot fake out on the perimeter, they're going to put that ball to the floor and go straight to the rim, which just happened. So one more coming for Psalms. And that one falls in for him. Clayton State guided by a veteran coach with a lot of wins under his belt, including in the PBC, not just, just not necessarily at Clayton State. Vince Alexander in his second season with the Lakers has 349 wins coming into the season, so now 351 overall. A lot of his success came at USC Aiken, also the head coach at St. Leo. Collier working, gets a second now, third attempt at it. Now a fourth chance for Collier, and he's rejected at the rim. Well, you can't fault him on the effort. No, I, I thought he got fouled on the last one. That was a uh, reverse layup. And, and it goes, yeah. and the stuff yeah. for Psalms, and the Lakers have taken a one-point lead. Balk Knight weaves his way across the top of the key. Now they'll use Collier to screen for Bryant. Bryant stops, spins. Oh, beautiful move. What a step through into the middle and then a reverse 180 spin and he laid it in. Bryant also had one of the highlight performances on Saturday. Here's a three point shot and it's in. By number two, Kobe Johnson just checked into the game. 
between Bryant, Fiddler, and Lemons, they put up 64 combined points in that 89-75 win. And there's another one. I believe it was Bryant inside. Yep. It was. No, I was happy to see the kind of game that he had against Augusta because that North Georgia game uh, a week ago, somehow he, he just could not get into the rhythm. And he was not only below his average offensively, but he just wasn't himself off the boards either. Good defensive stop by Flagler, but they give it right back. And a lot of contact inside. And finally, the basket is good from Dudley Blackwell. Letting him play. Um, I, I don't understand. 23 was on the floor, stretched inside the horseshoe. Uh, that you, usually they call a turnover. You cannot have people stepping over him back and forth like that. Balk not going to work and slips all the way to the rack and scores it. Jax Boknight has that extra gear when he gets some daylight, and we saw it there as he slipped down the left side of the lane for an easy finish. Here's another three-pointer, and this one off the mark from Johnson. Tied at 14, and Boknight again feeling it. High off the glass and in. Spectacular drive from Jax Boknight, and he has the last four flagler points. Seventeen footer, no. Fiddler with the rebound. Fiddler for Bryant, and he stuffs it. Beautiful feed, Chase Fiddler to Malik Bryant, and it gets the whistle and the timeout from Clayton State. Coach, what did you see on that play? Oh, uh, I was really happy. Chase came down on transition. It, it was two on two. It looked like he was going to try to go beyond himself and go middle. He slid outside the lane to the left, and Bryant coming down on the trail, he put it up in the air for him, and he made that one-handed thunder dunk. One of those we want to see a replay day. That'd be nice. We don't have replay capability. We're working on that for future broadcasts. Flagler fans, if you want to support all Flagler athletic teams, join the Saints Club. Visit FlaglerAthletics.com and click on the Saints Club link for details. We'll step aside. Saints lead at 18 to 14 here in the first half. And welcome back to St. Augustine. Looking at the PBC standings, Augusta still on top despite the loss to Flagler, 7-1 now in the league. Followed closely, a half game back, North Georgia's at 6-1, then Lander and USC Aiken are 6-2. Flagler's in sixth place at 3-5. And, and Clayton State yet to win a game in the PBC. That's why this, this game means has a lot of importance for Flagler because... You don't want to say they expect to win, but they do expect to win. And two of the teams in front of them, they're going to lose. So this is a night where you pick a game up on a couple of teams. And their goal is to get into the top four so they can host an opening conference game. Good point. So it's Laker basketball with a fresh 20 on the shot clock. Johnson open for three, passed on the shot. Ten to shoot now. Six on the shot clock. The ball poked away. It's in the hands of Wes Williams. And now he gives it up. Three-pointer is good from Dudley Blackwell, and no one closed out on the three-point shot, Coach. Well, he is not a three-point shooter. And, you know, I think you have to make some sort of defensive effort to make him think about it, but you're right. Kyle Young with an answer at the other end. Nice post move. A drop step and the little baby hook right back at you. A three 
is off target from Weinmanson. And there's Malik Bryan on another run out. Well, they say if you run the court, sometimes you'll be rewarded. And Malik Bryant's been a couple times now a steal by Balk Knight. Uh, yeah. And a whistle and a foul called, I believe, on Kobe Johnson as the Saints had numbers as they um, were in transition. And that kind of bailed them out, bailed out Clayton State in a way, but it is a foul. That was two points in progress, no question about it. It's a five-point game here from Flagler Gym, and we'll step aside. You're watching Saints basketball on the PBC Network. Back in St. Augustine. Saints with a five-point lead. And as you mentioned in the break, Coach, uh, the transition game has been a big part of it. But Saints enjoy a, a good size height advantage in the post with guys like Collier and particularly Kyle Young. That may be a factor as we head forward in this game. Mark Bryant with another attack. And he looks like his old self again. Oh, I love to watch that two-man game because as he went to the rim, Three-pointer, no long rebound, comes off to the Lakers. They go back inside to Psalms, and it's last touch by the Saints. Go ahead with your thought, Coach. As, as Malik turned, and he did have his man half beat, the defender, uh, his helper, did not come over because Kyle was coming down the left side of the lane, and they have to be conscious of that. That just allowed Malik to finish a great drive. Off the inbounds play, corner three, no from Blackwell. Another long rebound, another three on the way. That's missed by Johnson, but it comes right back out to him. He fakes and now tosses it into Psalms. Nice sharing of the basketball on that possession, and Clayton State is getting two and three looks at it, at least on that particular possession. Here's Balk Knight, picks up his dribble at the low block, draws oh, the foul. Goodness as he's dragged to the ground by Blackwell. Or Johnson, excuse me, follows on Johnson. That is his second. Well, you talked about the two offensive rebounds down at our defensive end. Kyle Young went up twice, prevented Clayton from getting the rebound, but in tapping it out front, it went right to the Clayton player. So you can't give any team three tries and expect to come away in good shape. Balk Knight at the line. Makes the first one. Balk Knight as a free throw shooter, not bad, not great, 68%. Saints lead swells to seven as we approach the halfway mark of this first half. Nice look down low from Sa to Psalms. Rebound off to Bryant. Saints and trying to thread the needle to a cutting collier and that one's kicked and it'll stay with Flagler. I think that's when you start to get beyond yourself because Clayton had four, four defensive players in front of him. That would be threading the needle to the ultimate. <laughs> Interesting also to see how the depth plays out here. You mentioned just three subs on the bench for Clayton State. And you know, you would think that Blake and company, Coach Sellen, would be able to to rotate in a lot of fresh legs and maybe wear Clayton State out in terms of a conditioning standpoint. Balk Knight into Collier, gives it back to Jax. Jax wheeling and dealing, picks up his dribble, back out to Spencer Bain, who's checked in. 
sharpshooter from three, also a good assist man is Spencer. His pass nearly deflected. Here's Boom Reeves and offensive foul called against Boom Reeves. I didn't really see much contact. I did not either. And that's, that's like I said before, a concern when you play a team like Clayton. You do not want to let them stay close in the game. So let's see what we can do here on defense. Drive is cut off, and now dangerous pass along the baseline. Fadeaway jumper from the elbow, no from Joyner. Balk Knight so quick, and he scores. Got a little bit of a separation, but he was right in close, maybe four or five feet from the rim, and a pretty easy bucket for Jax Balk Knight, who has eight already. Three-pointer at the other end and an answer from Blackwell. Again, a guy who doesn't shoot it very well or very often from three, and he has a couple of three-pointers. Collier going to work in the post. Ball is saved to Soms, who wasn't ready for it. Collier slaps his hands. He's a little frustrated with himself not finishing that play. And another three-pointer from Harper, and the lead has cut, been cut to three. Yeah. And a whistle and a foul against Clayton State. And Coach Alexander can't believe it. No, he got him. He came in, pulled up short of the hoop, and tried to do the little drop shot. He got he got hit on the forearm, no question. That sends Malik Bryant to the free throw line. Coach Alexander was the PBC Coach of the Year in 08, in 2012, 2013, 2014. Had a lot of success in this league before leaving and coaching at St. Leo as a, also an assistant at Rice. But this program has struggled this year as Bryant misses the second one. <laughs> Nearly thrown away Harper with an athletic play to keep it in bounds. And now Harper goes to work, little finger roll too strong and the rebound ripped down by Reeves. Trying to bounce it for Kyle Young. And Reeves has been a nice addition to this club. Provides some athleticism at the defensive side of things, some rebounding, some toughness. Not, not to compare him to Jalen Barr, but he reminds me a little bit of Jalen's style of play. Would that be fair? Well, to your point, the, the depth that he provides underneath, if in fact Tyler, uh, Kyle are in a little bit of trouble, he, and he's a different type of player, similar to what you were saying, Jalen Barr. So it just gives you that added dimension. Barr out for the season with a knee injury he sustained in the offseason, but he's still here at Flagler as a student, and they expect him back for next season. Inside it goes. Hook shot is too strong from Lackey. Balk Knight feeling it. That one won't go for him. Sams with the rebound. Line Munson, an extra pass. Another long rebound into the original shooter, Harper. And Harper finds a seam in the defense, exploits it, and finishes with a slam. That was impressive. He was so quick to the hoop, we did not have a chance to wall that up. Bain puts the ball on the floor, gives it up to Young inside. Young stays with it, missed in close, and the rebound cleared by Leckie. Psalms, and he's fouled from behind. 
This one will be either on Balk Knight or Young. It'll get us to the under eight timeout. Saints lead it, but it's a close one, 29-27. Travis Harper at the free throw line out of the timeout. Saints are the one of the best offensive teams in the PBC. They are second in scoring at 82.4 points a game. They're last in scoring defense, which means basically they play a lot of high-scoring games. They're second in field goal percentage and first in three-point field goal percentage. Clayton State, not a great shooting team overall. They shoot at uh, 42% from the field, 33% from three. And when you look at those uh, defensive stats, that's the only place where Clayton measures up to Flagler because we we give up some points, and uh, so does Clayton. They were averaging 79 points to the opponent. Uh, there's a turnover by Tyler Collier at midcourt. So Clayton State is seventh in the league in points per game, and they're ninth in the league next to last in defense and points allowed. Pass inside. Collier with the block. And Fiddler picks up the loose ball. This is Lemons handling. Figueroa is into the game. Number one. Sophomore from Puerto Rico. And they'll work it through Collier at the top of the key. Hand off to Fiddler. Fiddler with a long two. His first points of the game. Very good patience then on offense, and I think that's what they need to do and put together a, a run here and get some separation. Lecky nearly lost it. Wine Munson needs some help. Seven to shoot. Blackwell fade away from the top of the key. And Blackwell's having himself a game. He's up to 10 points. Blackwell averages 9.3 a game. As Figueroa with an answer from three-point land. So many weapons from long range. Whether it's Figueroa or Lemons, Malik Bryant, Fiddler, Bain. They can all shoot it. And there's a long miss. And Figueroa wants to run. Flagger with numbers ahead to Reeves. Whoa. For the finish. Love to see the unselfishness. Lead swells back to six. Mid-range jumper, no. Another rebound for Reeves. Fiddler to Figueroa.
Wine Munson gives it up to Joyner. Three pointer, and that one rims off. Another try by Blackwell, who obviously has some confidence at the offensive end. Figueroa, an open for three, and can't find the range. Well, that play was well executed. Figueroa had his feet set, et cetera. He just missed. So they put the, hand, the ball in the hands of Blackwell, who leaves everyone with 10 points. And a tough fadeaway shot from Joyner. Saints defense starting to lock things down in a lot of one-and-done type possessions. And an offensive foul, a moving screen by Tyler Collier. And that gets us to the under four timeout. Saints by six here on the PBC Network. And back in St. Augustine, 36-30 out of the media timeout. And full court pressure set up by Coach Sellen. And a travel, so a good result for the Saints coming out, changing things up a little defensively, and Clayton State wasn't prepared for it. Fourth timeout, or turnover, excuse me, for Clayton State. Saints have committed five. Looking to post up with Kyle Young. Draws a double team and drops it in. Great recognition by Kyle to see the double team coming from his blind side. And he reversed back and took a nice little jump hook there. At the other end, it's thrown away. So consecutive turnovers forced by Flagler as they've built their lead to eight now off the Kyle Young bucket a moment ago. So this, this is the beginning of that, of that potential run we talked about at the break to see if we can get this thing up to double digits. Malik Bryan attacks, has his shot rejected by Wes Williams. It'll stay here with the Saints. Now that was a good defensive play by Williams. He came over really quick. And I don't think Malik had a chance to uh, send it across the lane to Kyle. Five on the shot clock and a travel call by Kyle Young, who looks a little frustrated after a couple of missed opportunities yeah. Yeah. here in this first half. Got to keep your head up. Go right to the next play. Open three, too strong. That was shot by Williams. Saints want to run. Fiddler sweeps through the baseline, gives it up to Lemons. Now open in the corner, Figueroa 
knocks it down from three-point land. He was begging for that ball in the corner. He did everything but send a Western Union. <laughs> and other way, it's a blocking call. That was inside the restricted area. That's a tough break for the Saints. I think maybe that's the point Coach Sellen is making to the officials. Either way, it sends Psalms to the line to shoot two. Our officials today, Daryl Smith, Antonio Vargas, and Willisette DelVal. Substitutions for Clayton State. Checking back in is Weinmanson and Lecky. Yeah, Sam's is probably their most critical player on the Clayton team. He averages 33 minutes a game, uh, 13 points a game. So they need him to give them the leadership on the floor there. Three-pointer, Figueroa. Yeah. At the other end, and it's a made three by Sams. How, how often does that happen? We didn't show the patience on offense that we had on the previous three possessions. We, we took a quick shot. No one's in position for the offensive rebound, and Clayton transitioned down court and hits a three. So we had an 11-point lead. Bryant with another nifty oh. spin move just did everything but get it to go down. Sams at the other end to Weinmanson. Back to Sams. And a long three is off the back iron and out of bounds from Wes Williams. So under a minute to play, Saints lead is six, and they have the basketball. Balk Knight checks back in for Figueroa. So it's Balk Knight, Lemons, Bryant, Kyle Young and Chase Fiddler on well, the floor. Well, let's see what we run here because we want to score on this possession. Bryant takes a three. Yeah, that. <laughs> and long pass the other way, so we'll give it back to the Saints. And here, now Coach, let me ask you this. 42 seconds on the on the game clock, 30 on the shot clock. Do you try to go two for one here and get a quick bucket, play good defense, and then potentially get two possessions out of this? Well, wh what we tried to do just a minute ago was that, but that was an ill-advised shot by Malik because it was contested, and it was really out beyond his range. Young oh, with a great tough time. shot. A floater off balance, and Young made it look easy. Lead up to eight, and an offensive foul called on uh, number 11. That's Harper. So the Saints will get it back, and a timeout call by the Saints will keep it right here. Your thoughts on the first half? It's an eight-point lead, not necessarily the double-digit lead you're hoping for, but with a made basket, it will be double figures. Well, here we sit. The Saints have put 43 points on the board. All right, so if you want to equate that to a full game, it's 86 which sounds pretty good, yeah. and it is. It's better than their average. On the other hand, when you look at giving the Lakers 35 points, obviously, uh, based on what we've seen so far, we're just giving them too many good looks. Fortunately, on that last play, number 11 used his left hand fully extended to push the defender away to get a lane to the hoop. I didn't even think the referee was going to call it, but your point a minute ago about getting two for one because of that foul, we now have that opportunity. And we can get back to double digits if we can if we can score on the last 15 seconds here. Shot clock turned off. We'll give it to Bryant. Seven seconds remain. And Bryant goes right to the hoop and scores. Exactly what the doctor ordered. And no real time to get a good shot off. There is a shot at the buzzer from Blackwell. It's no good, and the Saints lead it 45-35. We'll step aside for the halftime and be back with second half action. Oh, actually, let's hold on here for just a second. Let's, uh, we're gonna have an interview here with uh, Coach Sellen as he makes his way up. We'll chain out uh, headsets. 
And Coach Sellen joins us now. Thanks for taking the time. Coach, your thoughts on the first half? You know, uh, pr proud of our guys. You know, we fought, uh, you know, big thing going into it, those offensive rebounds. I think they had nine at one point. I'm sure they're up to 11 or 12 right now. But, you know, hey, we, we finally got stops there at the end. We're able to run. And, you know, it's, it's a tough matchup. Clayton State's a really good team. I know they're 0-7 in league. They may be the best 0-7 team in the country. They are long and athletic and play well. But proud of our guys' fight. I told them, hey, we got to win that last 339. And we won that last 339. So that, that, that's a plus. Well, look forward to you in the second half. Thanks, Thank Coach. <laughs> coach Blake Sillen joining us. And we'll bring uh, Coach Harding back in. And, and your thoughts, Coach, on the, fi on the first half and what you saw from up here. Well, I thought the way we finished the last five minutes of the half is the way we want to play because we did show some patience and we played really strong defense down at the other end. And that probably was the reason for their turnover because we have been playing such good defense. And we got the lead to 10 points. That's what we wanted, to have a double-digit lead going into the half. I did not think that we would get to 45 points when we were mid midway through the half because we, we seemed to be not quite focused, taking quick shots, and on the other end, not playing the kind of defense we were capable of. So hopefully we will come out in the second half and play just like we did in the last five minutes and get a comfort zone and put this team away early and not give them any hope whatsoever of getting back in the game. We'll take a break for halftime. Be back with some first half stats and then the second half action here on the PBC Network.
And welcome back to Flagler Gymnasium. It's a 10-point Flagler lead as they're looking to put their second consecutive win uh, up in the books. And we'll bring Coach back in as he gets his headset on. And what stands out to you as you look at the first half stats, Coach? Well, the first thing I, I want to talk about is how we played that last five minutes with the patience that we showed on offense and with the defense. That's where we got the 10-point the differential. When you look at the stats overall, from three-point land, we shot our 40%. Overall, we shot over 50, so certainly there's no critique from the offensive side of the ball. You put 45 points on the board. Great. Pretty good. So th the question is, what can we do in the second half to even limit the Lakers' offense more? Uh, they did shoot their average from the three-point field, but they were the beneficiaries of two, two threes from a player that hardly ever shoots them. So uh, y you can look at it that way, uh, but in the end, I'd love to see us really clamp down on defense here and expand this lead by midway through the half to maybe the next set of double digits. Clayton State basketball to start the half. Lakers are in the dark, and the Saints are in the home whites. Quick shot, rebound off to Kyle Young. Good defense to start the second half for the Saints. And Brian doing what he did in the first half and taking his man to the hoop, but that's almost impossible to defend. The defense wasn't that bad there. It was just the shot was so good, the, the move was so good. I, I think that Clayton did not expect him to even try to go, and he made a great quasi-euro-step move diagonally. He split two defenders, still had one in his face, and had enough uh, Savoir Fair to lay it off the glass and in. Meanwhile, Lemons hits his second three of the game. Leading scores, Bryant has 13. And for Clayton State, Sams and Blackwell have 10 apiece. And we'll keep it right here. Thanks some of the sponsors of Flagler Athletics, including Noah Bailey Group, proud supporter of Flagler College Sports. 93 King Street, the smallest hotel in the ancient city. Maori Law Firm, proud supporter of Flagler Athletics. Jersey Mike Subs, a sub above. Hybrid Design, advertising, graphic design, and marketing. And Hero of Florida, your partner for the complete equipment lifestyle. So quick timeout, and the Saints have already expanded the lead from 10 to 15 in the first 48 seconds. That, Dave, just what we were asking for. Can we come out and continue the great play that we finished the half with to begin the next half? Mission accomplished. Smart move by the Clayton coach to call timeout right now before this thing gets away from him. Flagler home for just this single game. They'll go back out on the road at Lander on Saturday. Back here a week from today against Georgia College. And then it's kind of one at home, one on the road. They'll visit Columbus State next weekend. Augusta, the top team in the PBC, 7-1. North Georgia, 6-1. Flagler is in sixth place at 3-5. So a chance to... Perhaps pick up a game here in the standings. Absolutely. Or at least stay constant, stay static, and not drop any ground to the league leaders. And you talked about the importance of getting a home game, being in that top four, and that's still certainly attainable Absolutely. for Flagler. Absolutely. Good. Young, Young working hard for the rebound in traffic, and he outworked a couple of Lakers for it. Fiddler for three. Corner. Got it. And a turnover. Lemons comes away with it, spins away from the defender. Fiddler, how about another one? Out of the timeout, the Saints get a three-pointer, and the lead is at 18. Poked away briefly and now kicked out of bounds, and it's going to be another turnover for the Lakers. That is eight in the game, and I like what I'm seeing defensively. Well, you noticed, I think the best thing that happened was coming out of the box. Who scored first? Kyle Young. 
that got him fired up. Now he's focused. He just created two turnovers in the last two times down the court, and he got a great rebound. So we've got him back in the game, and it, we have a great advantage there. So you don't want him to get himself into any trouble. Lemons with a nifty move underneath, and a reverse layup makes it a 20-point advantage. And a foul against the Saints here. And we'll see. I think this might be Kyle Young. Now it's going to be a balk night. And, and, and Dave, I watched that play, and I asked myself why the referee who is on the sideline does not look and see when Blackwell spun 360 right into his chest and knocked him off. And then he then he went to shoot. Now, you're right, Kyle did not foul on the effect of the shot. But, I mean, to me, that's an offensive foul. You gain position, you work to get there. He knocked him down on the floor and no call. So. Good point. Blackwell makes one of two. Falk Knight leaves it for Young, the hoop, and the foul. Kyle Young starting to feel it. At both ends, he's up to 10 points. What a difference emotionally. You just saw him get a great, first of all, Jax went right down the middle of the lane. The defense relaxed. He got to the rim, saw that he was doubled, made a great pass to Kyle, who instead of just impulsively going up on the glass, gave a great up fake, had the defender jump on his back, and then he went up and laid it in. Now we're going to see a three-point play, hopefully. Young, the transfer from Siena, D1 school in New York. His brother plays at Duke. His mother and sister, volleyball players at the D1 level. His father was a member of the crew team at Syracuse. Straight away three, too strong, another long rebound. And it's another offensive board, and they're going to get, I think, Kyle here on the foul. And it will be, no, it'll be Balk Knight, his third personal. Yeah. So we'll see how Coach Sellen elects to play this. He keeps Balk Knight in there with the three fouls, and it looks like he's not making a move at the moment. At the line is Lecky. All right, went from 10 to 15 to 20, just like that. I mean, we're only two and a half minutes into the second half, and they've already doubled the lead. We, we wanted them to do that. I don't think either you or I expected them to I, do I it. I don't think not that quickly. <laughs> Falk Knight stays in the game with the three fouls, goes baseline, stepped on the end line. That gives it back over to the Lakers. Joiner gives it up with seven to shoot. And the Saints come away with it. This is Lemons feeding Brian. Beautiful look. A no look from Jalen Lemons to Malik Bryant. And really the pass made it so that the shot was relatively low stress, low intensity. Young with a block. I'll tell you, Dave, down previous to Malik's layup, the going on down under the other basket, there was at least three fouls. They didn't call anything, which is fine. It turned out to our favor. And uh, now we're hitting. Now we're transitioning. And here we are back to a 24-point lead. And Young made that last three for the Saints, doing it all here in the second half. And another three. It's Lemons. And the crowd is delighted here at Flagler Gym. 65-38. Fiddler with a rebound. Uh, we're doing everything right. Oh, uh, Balk Knight. 
A little hesitation and then went to that extra gear. He's fouled on his way to the hoop. And that gets us to the under 16 media timeout with the Saints cruising 65-38. And back in St. Augustine, Flagler enjoys the 65-38 lead and looking for more as Balk Knight steps to the line. And what are you seeing in the last handful of offensive sequences from Flagler that's made them so successful, Coach? They are wearing down Clayton. And it starts on the defensive end. We had a Kyle Young block. We had a Malik Bryant rebound. And none of the Clayton players were given straight lanes to the hoop. And we have come down and finished every transition game. Kyle Young worked so hard that they had to take him out to give him a breather. I, I saw him struggling to get down court. But that's a great sign because he truly, he created two turnovers. He had a block shot, and he scored four points in that segment. Five points, excuse me. You, he hit that three that you mentioned. Blackwell gets a bucket for Clayton State. Still trailed by 27. Bryant right back at you. Quick three taken and made by Blackwell. <laughs> well, I guess in this kind of game, we, we, can, we can live with somebody making... Oh. oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Brian had an easy one, missed the bunny because he wanted the slam instead of the sure thing on a absolutely fantastic pass. And then Weinmunson scores at the other end. Collier on the leak out. And I think it was Fiddler who found him on the long pass. And I think Fiddler also was the one that made that pass to Malik underneath. A great wraparound. That was a... Basketball traditionalists, I'm sure you love the unselfish play, the, the making the extra pass, uh, finding a, a, a teammate with maybe a little better look than you have, and it's all kind of coming together here for the Saints, everyone getting involved. That's how you put away a team. It, it, it takes a group effort. It takes uh, unselfish basketball, and that's what you're seeing here. And the other part of the equation, we talked very, very early in the game about the one area that Clayton was suspect in defensive area was points given up. And uh, we're not even halfway through the second half, and we may get to 80 points, which they give up anyway. That's, that's their average. So... Uh, Kudos to the, the Flagler Saints for the effort that they put in over this first five and a half minutes. Bain and Figueroa check back in for Flagler. And for the Lakers, Joyner comes back off the bench. Again, only three bench players for Coach Alexander and the Lakers. And they're starting to show, I think, some signs of wearing down against this very active Flagler offense. Lemons works off the screen, fires a three, and buries it. Everything going right. Oh, we are on a roll from three-point land right now. Saints shooting at 53% from three, and there's an answer from Sams. Sam's 
Long three, Figueroa. Looking on the low block, and that ball tapped away by either Figueroa or Bain. Good defense from the Saints, good active hands. They don't really, Clayton really does not have what you would call a back to the basket five player. And uh, I think it was number 25 who has the ball now. Uh, he brought the ball down below his waist, allowing our guards to strip him. Sams weaves through some traffic and scores. He's up to 15 points to lead the Lakers. Still a 22 point advantage for Flagler. Corner three, Lemons. Can't find that one. Wine Munson off the glass, too strong. Offensive rebound, Sams, and goes right back up with it and scores. Sams has had a good game. He's played well. Uh, without him, this would really be a 30-point lead plus, but they've managed to cut seven points off our 27-point lead. It's down to 20. So uh, I, I think it's a good move to have brought in some different players. Bain for three. That that offensive execution there had all the patience that you want. I think we've taken a couple of quickie threes in the previous two possessions. And speaking of different players, Bain coming off the bench and providing some offense when the Saints need it. I mean, it's, it wasn't a critical moment in the game, but to stem that little bit of a run from Clayton State. Exactly. Boom Reeves waiting at the scorer's table to check in, and Flagler will back this out and work a little clock with the 23-point advantage. Under 12 minutes to play. Back to Collier. He thought about the three. Extra pass to Bain. Now jump stop to Figueroa. Triple! Omar Figueroa has made three threes. And the Saints are at 80. With 11 minutes left. Figueroa, unbelievable. Crashing into the cheerleaders as he got off balance, but made a spectacular finish. Sam's no. The putback is there for Blackwell. Well, on that previous play when Spencer B Bain made a nice shot fake, beat his man down the middle. They collapsed on him. He stayed composed, did a reverse pivot, found uh, Figueroa, or was that Spencer Bain? I forget who took that three. Nothing but net. Oh, right. Collier will try a triple. Why not? Tyler Collier. Everything going right for the Saints. And now kind of an up and down tempo we have as the Lakers take a quick one. That was Blackwell with the miss. Yeah, this is turning into a, a free-for-all. Uh, you still, you still want to work and, and come out of it playing your best basketball. Oh. <laughs> and a beautiful feed from Bain to Collier. What a perfectly executed give and go. Saints are on pace to score about 120 at this point, just under 120. Although I imagine they slow things down here and just salt it away with some longer possessions, but there's another three. Why not Why not keep lightening it up? When it's going good, it's going good. That was Figueroa. Step through Euro step tile style, and Blackwell can't finish. Yeah, Clayton is, I don't want to say they've lost their composure, but they, they I think they've kind of given up on defense. Collier hands it off to Figueroa, gets his man in the year, back to Collier, just made a three. Lemons will try a long one and make it. Wow. <laughs> Smiles all around on the Saints players. I've lost track, but I'm, I'm saying that we've hit six or seven. 
Saints now at 59%, and it's a party here in Flagler Gym. 59% from three, 13 of 22, and everything's going right here on the PBC Network. Welcome back. Saints have made their last six three-pointers. They're on an 11-0 run over the last two minutes and 14 seconds and a 19-4 run over the last four minutes and change. And there's a nice bucket on the move from Kobe Johnson. So offensively, the Lakers still seem engaged, but defensively, they're not as stout as they were in the first half. And the Saints have everything going right, particularly the shooting. It's just been an avalanche of threes, Dave. And you can see from the, uh, the, the expressions on the Flagler players, they are just so relaxed. And they're staying patient, and they're making great plays. Collier will try another triple. Joyner gives it up. Johnson was a long way from the basket, but he'll take it and make it. Nearly stolen on the inbounds pass. Lemons getting tied up with Harper, and they'll call the foul on Harper. And that was right in front of the officials, a pretty easy call to make. That gets us to the under eight timeout. 93-61, Flagler in control. And welcome back. Saints having some fun. A backdoor cut. Spencer Bain to figure out. You talked about how Spencer has grown as a passer since 
he's arrived here on campus, and that was a great illustration of it. That, that's two for him. The one that he made previously to Tyler Collier, I thought was one of the best passes I've seen in a while, but he might have just exceeded it with that one uh, that he just executed. Lots of Saints fighting for the rebound, a quartet of them. And here's an alley-oop to Reeves. Pass a little off target. Why not try an open three? Figueroa with another one. His fifth three of the game, five of nine from long range. And a blocking foul called against Figueroa. Well, well give, give Boom Reeves a lot of credit. They threw him the alley-oop. Yes, the defender came over. He could have tried to put a move on him and lay it up. He saw Spencer on the perimeter, fired it out. That's what I call unselfish basketball, and Spencer, nothing but net. Uh, this onslaught of threes is incredible right now. There's a mid-range jumper from Sams. Sams has had a nice night. One of the positives that Clayton State can take on the bus ride home. Collier, wow, the just sheer force of, of him backing down there and then no call on the shot. Johnson with a three. Well, he's, he's come in and hit a couple threes. Got 11 points. 19 for Sams, 18 for Blackwell, 11 for Johnson, and 10 for Harper. But the Saints even more impressive. Lemons with 20, Bryan and Figueroa with 19 each. And 10 for Balk Knight. And there's Figueroa adding to that number. He now has 21 on 8 of 12 shooting from the floor. Fade away, Sams. And he rolls it home. I was really happy to see the play that Omar just made offensively because he saw that the defender had an advantage on him going to the hoop and he pulled into that two-step jump stop pivoted around 180 and put a nice soft two-pointer in that was beautiful he made it look too easy another uh, beautiful pass from Collier to Figueroa uh, uh, dropping dimes as Collier the entire Saints roster has been unselfish and been right on with the passing game Bain can't find the range on that three. Saints over 100 with five minutes to play. Long three, no, the rebound to Figueroa. And Collier needs some help. Collier is holding his left arm, and it'll be an injury timeout here as Balk Knight will check back in for Collier who will head right over to the trainers and get some attention. I think he ran into his own guy there. I think he ran into Balk Knight or yeah. Figueroa one on that last rebound. Another pretty look inside. Reeves gets it right back, goes up strong, fights for the offensive rebound, and it'll stay at this end with Flagler. Well, as you might expect, the referees have started to swallow their whistle a little bit. Uh, <laughs> Boom made a great effort there. Two offensive rebounds. Uh, he got hit at least twice. There's Bain going to work. Gives it up. Lemon straightaway three. Reeves with a putback slam dunk. Absolutely spectacular from Broom Reeves and showing that otherworldly athleticism. At the other end, it's Johnson with the layup. And now the Saints will clear the bench or to a degree. Ready to check in is Jack Webster. And also, I think it's Joshua Williams checking in. Timeout called. Saints lead it by 34.
So welcome back. Welcome to the party here in St. Augustine. And the Saints do get Jack Webster, who's sophomore out of Mount Dora, Florida, number 34 into the game, as well as Joshua Williams, a freshman from Charlotte, into the game. So these kids who work so hard in practice actually seeing some game time here in a league game. And, and this is great for the fans, too. They, they love to see everybody get a chance to play. Bain cut off on his way to the hoop. Williams. This place was about to erupt. Reeves gets the rebound. Spencer Bain spinning, has a shot blocked. Reeves stays with it. And another rebound and a putback for Boom Reeves. What a rebound, and then he came down and did a 360 and laid it in. And the Saints did a fantastic job in replacing a lot of the roster from those two great teams led by Jacek Lotti and Chris Metzger and the like, and they had to replace the majority of their scoring. And they went out and got guys like Figueroa and... Bryant, and there's another one from Figueroa. Oh, Jalen Lemons is another newcomer. Boom Reeves. Great job of restocking great athletic players who fit into this game plan as Johnson lays another one home. He's got 15. That's a tough thing to do, Coach. I'm sure you know that as well as anyone. You lose a lot of scoring and another finish from Figueroa. You've got to go out and get players who can fit in the system but immediately contribute. And with the guys like I didn't mention even Kyle Young. Correct. Uh, Bryant, Figueroa, Lemons have all been huge contributors in in the way that they can in, in their individual games. And what's equally impressive is some of the players who were on those teams, their improvement has been remarkable. Williams falls out of bounds. Spencer Bain with uh, an errant pass there. Might have slipped out of his hands. But the whole gym is pulling for Joshua Williams, Jack Webster to make a bucket. And I think this place will explode when those guys score. Coming up on two minutes to go, another layup from Johnson. Figueroa bumped, no foul. Now they'll stretch the defense a little bit. Bain has to pick up his dribble. Webster has it. Bain with a finger roll. Nice blow by by Spencer Bain. That maybe wasn't in his repertoire when he got on campus either. Known for a three-point shooting, but he's become... A good ball handler, a good assist guy. No, you are right, Dave. His basketball IQ has gone up double digits. Very impressive. Williams has it stolen away by Wine Musson. And going to the rack and scoring is Blackwell. Lead is still 30. Webster tries the three. <laughs> The whole crowd was on his feet. Anticipating that one, Johnson, long rebound to Sams. Baseline jumper is good by Leckie. Boom Reeves right at the rim, and he's fouled. Wanted to jam it. And he drew the contact. So well, I'm, I'm giving Joshua Williams an assist on that. He, he, <laughs> made it. he, he got pushed. He, he got fouled. Didn't let it phase him. Came along the baseline and made a great bounce pass to Boom. So Boom Reeves steps to the line to shoot two. Checking back in for Clayton State is Travis Harper.
Quine Munson lost it out of bounds, and it's another turnover. Saints get it back. That's 13 turnovers for Clayton State. Saints have committed just nine. Been very good in terms of ball security. Well, they put it in Williams' hands, and he goes to work. Nice spin move in the lane, left it short. Reeves keeps it alive, and Winemusson clears. Sams, awkward handoff to Lucky. He makes the shot just as the game ends, but an incredible performance. 112 to 86 is the final, and the Saints improved to 10 and 10 overall. Four and five in the PBC. Clayton State drops to two and 16, 0 oh and eight in the league. And we'll hear from Coach Sellen in just a moment. But uh, your thoughts as we await the post-game interview. Well, I guess our wishes were granted, Dave. Uh, we said that after putting up 45 points in the first half, that we're pretty pleased with the Flagler offense. We hoped that they would come out in the second half and play the way they did the last five minutes of the first half and expand the lead. I don't think we expected 67 points on the board in the second half. Yeah, expanding the lead by 16 points of what was a 10-point game. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll get Coach Sellen here. He's shaking hands with some of the Clayton State folks and some of the fans who have come out. And uh, meanwhile, we'll just keep it here and, and chat a little bit. Talking about the scores, Figueroa with 27, most of that in the second half. Uh, Lemons has 20, Bryant with 19, Balk Knight with 10, 13 for Kyle Young. Pretty balanced scoring up and down the, the scorebook. A very, very impressive offensive output. And not to ignore the defensive effort part of the reason that they expanded it to your point so quickly with that 16 point burst uh, at the beginning of the second half was exactly that defense i mean they tur turned them over they blocked shots they jumped the passing lanes and then in transition they were impeccable well, it looks like Coach Sellen may uh, pass on the post-game interview as he's headed into the locker room to talk to his team and, and what a locker room it should be, a happy one. 112-86 is the final. So for our producer, Laurel Plexico, our camera person, Mikhail, Michaela Rome, and Coach Joe Harding next to me, I'm Dave Wenda. Thanks for watching. Saints with a big win, 112-86.